So yes. now when I was doing my final year, yeah, so sad, that's when I actually started, you know, asking myself, so how much do doctors make back home? Because I in did your last year. In my last year. Yeah. That's what I was asking myself. So you had a imagine. plan to study medicine, come back to Kenya, but you had never asked yourself. I never asked myself how much a doctor makes because I already knew based on society, based on the Western media. It has to be it has to be money. And based on the doctors out there and what they drive and, you know, the, the schools their kids go to, yeah. that you have to make money as a doctor. Yeah. So I assumed there's money. There's money. Uh-huh. So then when I was in my 60, I started asking the nurse. And I was being told it's like $300. At that time, that's yeah. what doctors were making. They were making like, I think, 30K to 40K. Start at that. As a medical officer, yeah. Yeah. When you start, when you start off now. Before, of course, you become a specialist. Mm-hmm. So I was like, what? Like, I was like making, I was trying to make that make sense. Yes. Because I was like, I get paid five hundred dollars for forty-five minutes to perform. Yeah, and you're telling me in a month, after seven years, and seven million, I'm going to be earning thirty, forty k a month. I was like, it doesn't make sense. So that time, I even went through some stuff. I was like, yeah. okay, maybe I need to stay here, <laughs> or I just do this music stuff and, and put the doctor thing on the side. Put the doctor thing aside. But yeah, of course, you, you later learn that that's how you start and it's, it's, it's career progression mm-hmm. and, and when you become a specialist, you earn much more money and things like that. So I was like, okay, let's first of all, let's go back home and then we'll decide. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you come back home. Um, mm-hmm. What happens then? Are you, you're then, if, if I'm not wrong, you, you become an intern at Kenya International Hospital. So you, get, you, do get, you start getting paid this 30 to 40 geez at that point mm, huh. i wish it was it went that easy yes so i come home and um a lot of things had happened in 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 my life uh my parents had split up mm-hmm. uh, my mother also became very sick mm-hmm. so she was bedridden she couldn't work mm-hmm. so it was a point where you're staying with your moms you've grown up you left when you left it was a it was a, home. a nuclear family. Yeah. And then you come home and now you're in Langata living with your mom and your sister, you know, and your mom doesn't really have source of income and things like that. So it was very, very hard. So that's where my trauma, more trauma started, mm-hmm. where, where I think for the first time in my life I got depressed mm-hmm. because it was moments where you're looking, both of you are looking at each other because for her she's happy you're a doctor she, you know now you're coming my son's a doctor even though right now i'm not good at least my son will save the day because he's a doctor and there was a lot of people looking at you or expecting you to be that way yeah you have your degrees you're a doctor but you don't start immediately like that you have to go through a process if you've studied as a foreign doctor there's something called um pre-internship and when you finish medical school here you go straight into internship mm-hmm. So pre-internship is basically to make sure you're ready. Yeah. And it's also sitting an exam. Yeah. So it can take a process. It also requires payments and things like that. So you have to pay quite a bit of money. Um, right now, when I was back in the days, it was, I think, 30000 mm-hmm. And at that time, my mom, re- even that 30 k was, was a problem yeah. to come up with. And right now... I think it's a hundred and something thousand for that pre internship yeah, because the assumption is if somebody trained you outside you yeah know, you come from a family that has money yeah you, know, you didn't you didn't train i mean you did you don't you have want, you the want, same yeah. tax bracket if you can put it that way so that was extremely like um hard like seeing your your mom who was like the financial guru never had a problem with anything and you know could figure it out she's bedridden she can't work she can't earn a living um she can't pay any further when you speak to your dad he's also like yo dude we've educated you um right now i don't have a job um and we're just gonna have to figure things out now yeah you're a you're a grown-up yeah figure that stuff out on yeah your own. Thank you.